Hey everybody, this is Max Olson with Adjuster TV here. We're going to be taking a look in the Gulf of Mexico where Tropical Storm Barry is making its way towards the Louisiana coast. We're going to go into the impacts and potential threats with this system. Let's go ahead and take a look at the computer. All right, so first let's look at this product that is issued by the National Hurricane Center. We call this the cone of uncertainty because it is always uncertain exactly where the center path of a tropical storm or hurricane is going to travel. Despite the fact that we have all these great computer generated forecast models, these very smart our individuals working at these hurricane centers and national weather services uh, it's still not entirely clear where these tropical systems will go precisely we know generally speaking where they're going to be and the consensus of the forecast models has had a louisiana landfall for a couple days now however there is still uncertainty, and this reflects the fact that the storm could go all the way on the western fringe of this and be making landfall closer to Texas, Louisiana uh, border area, or all the way back east towards Baton Rouge and New Orleans. So that's why we have this cone of uncertainty, because there is always a margin of error that could potentially happen, and this will continue to reflect those changes as they come about. But so far the consensus has been a Louisiana landfall for a couple days now. So let's go ahead and take a look at the storm itself. Not particularly impressive. You're used to seeing that classic hurricane type look where there's this convection or thunderstorm growth all the way around a center point and you've got a clear opening for an eye and you've got all this mass surrounding it. However, you kind of just see half of that right now and that's pretty much the case. We've got strong thunderstorm development which can be seen here in the infrared loop. All these are the tops of thunderstorms, strong development all along the southern half of Barry. However, you can see that the northern portion of it is pretty much bare and we have dry air coming in from the north that is uh, not allowing this to strengthen at a rate that it might be able to considering how warm the sea surface temperatures are up here. But we still do have a tropical storm. You can see that counterclockwise movement. It's got the you know classic spin and outflow pattern. So this is still a tropical storm and it still needs to be taken seriously because it is going to be a huge rainmaker no matter what intensity it is. If it's a tropical storm, if it's a hurricane, it's not gonna play a huge difference. The only uh, reasoning that will really matter is directly along the coast here. Um, you could see some, you know, 75 mile per hour plus wind with gusts higher if it does become a hurricane, but that's going to knock down some trees and that's about it. And if you know the topography of southeastern Louisiana, even to central Louisiana, it's a lot of marshland, a lot of bayou, gully territory. You don't have a lot of dense population until you get further north. Um, and by the time it gets further north, it's going to be weakening. So it's not even going to be, you know, a huge wind threat. You might have some limbs down here and there, but that's about it unless we're talking about directly along the coast. So what does that mean? That means that rain is 100,000% the primary concern with this storm. As you can see here, we've got totals reaching 20 inches over the next few days. And even the teens, upper teens throughout Louisiana and the Mississippi. Uh, once again, I do want to just state once more that this is dependent on where the center track goes. If the center track were to go like we talked about over here, then this would obviously shift a little bit further to the west and vice versa. But currently this is the thinking and this is worst case scenario or very close to it because of the Mississippi River that is already reach, uh, reaching flood stages. We've already had rainfall in the Baton Rouge and New Orleans area that has caused flooding over the last few days. So basically, we already have an extremely saturated environment here. We already have uh, lakes and rivers that are approaching flood stage. And then we're going to have all of this rain and storm surge, which is caused by the storm as it pushes all this water up in to Lake Pontchartrain and all the surrounding communities along the coast here. It's pushing all this seawater into these areas and you can see an additional three to five feet of sea surface um, height uh, opposed to what it already is. And when you start adding that together with the already over flood stage Mississippi River, the already saturated soils, that's kind of cooking up a recipe for disaster when we're talking about the flooding and that is definitely going to be the primary threat. Once again, let's just take a look here before we sign off. This is the European model. It's generally regarded as one of the best in predicting uh, 
tropical cyclone landfalls and we see pretty close to what the hurricane center is predicting we see that storm make landfall right around the central louisiana coast and make its way north with all of this rain coming in on the eastern half of the storm so once again just to reiterate um, not a huge wind threat the main portion of damaging wind is going to be immediately surrounding the eye wall, which is a relatively small area compared to the entire uh, grasp of this storm. So that is not going to be a huge concern as they're not going to be extremely strong winds, but flooding is going to be a huge concern. We're talking potential catastrophe for uh, Baton Rouge, especially New Orleans, since uh, as we know, it's like a bowl and those level, those levees are really close to being breached already without the storm surge and additional rain. So that's just a scary situation unfolding. We'll keep you updated here as best we can at Adjuster TV. I don't think I'm going to be chasing this one. I still haven't made that final call, but I will make sure to give you guys as many updates as possible. You can also always contact me personally. My email address is M as in Max, D as in Dog, O as in Olson, underscore adjusting at outlook.com if you have any questions about uh, storm surge rainfall amounts track changes anything i'd be more than happy to help answer those and if you have family in the area i really hope they're taking their safety precautions anyways this is max Olson signing out for adjuster tv